Hello everyone, welcome back to another guitar lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to play the song Yellow by Coplay. It's a really uh, classic, great song to learn. Uh, most people have heard of the song and uh, this is a really great one to learn on the acoustic guitar as well. Especially if you just want to play uh, at a gig or an open mic or play in front of your friends, family and just play it by yourself. This is a great song to to add to your repertoire and to impress all your friends and all that and and on top of that the song itself is actually not too hard to uh, to learn once you learn all the chords you know the different rhythms and you understand structure and so on it's actually not too difficult to learn so i thought this would be a good one to uh, share with you um, it's also one of my personal favorite songs and i put you play this one quite a lot in my spare time and when i'm playing gigs and such so let's not waste any further time, we're going to zoom in on the neck and I'm going to show you how to play this song. Right, so let's get started learning the song Yell. Um, now right from the get-go you've probably noticed that I have a capo here on the second fret of the guitar and the reason for that is because the way I play the song is that I uh, play the chord based on the uh, chords from the open position but to play it in the same key as the original track, uh, I play it on the second fret and that allows me to play it in the original key. Uh, the original key is in B major, by the way. That, uh, putting it on the second fret, I'm able to play uh, an A chord, and it's actually a B chord. So just, and when I'm singing this song as well, when I'm playing it myself, the, the this key is pretty suitable for my voice rather than doing it in the open position, singing it in A. So it's just more convenient for me that way. The original track, I believe, is actually recorded in standard tuning, but with the high E string tuned in half a step, so it's actually an E flat. Uh, I'm not going to show you that way, because that's not generally the way I play it, and I feel like that learning it this way, and using it with a capo, and playing just the typical uh, open position chords, is something that everyone would be able to... Uh, pick up pretty easily and just get straight away jamming with this song. If you have a capo then get your capo and then put it on the second fret. Uh, if you don't have one you can just play this song uh, using the same chords but you're playing it in the open position. Just remember though that it's going to sound a little different to how it sounds in this video and how it sounds in the original track because you'll be playing you'll be playing the same chords but in a different key. Mm -hmm. So just bear that in mind. Uh, but anyway let's just First of all, we'll start off with a quick overview of the chords. The chords in this song are going to be, uh, or I'll refer to each chord in terms of the shape rather than the key, just uh, so that everyone doesn't get confused. So the chords that are used are A major, E major, uh, and then we have this uh, mix of a D major seven, but except it's got a sus two instead, so it's so I guess it's a kind of a D major sus 2 quite nice though we have a the D sus 2 and we have a, a, a D major 7 we also have a, a sus 4 that will appear you know understand why that uh, pretty shortly when I show you the intro riff uh, we also have F sharp minor, the little bar chord there. If that's too difficult for you, then you can just do the the upper part of the chord where you'll still have to do a bar, but it'll probably be less strain on some of you beginner players. Preferably, though, you would want to play the full bar. Chord. And then we also have, at the very end of the song, we also have an E minor 7 chord. Your chords. Now that we've got the chords out of the way, let's dive into the actual song itself. So the song starts off with a intro that's got two distinctive parts, one of which is much shorter than the other part, and the other part which is uh, so, uh, supports the main uh, theme or main riff of the song, it repeats at certain parts of the song throughout. Let's we'll start off by going through the, very, the first part of the intro. Uh, so that is going to sound like this. So 
So that is the chords are A and then it's pretty much A for a full four bars but at the end of every second bar so at the end of bars two and bars four you uh, move up to your A sus four. Uh, it's a good idea to slide up rather than I mean you can do it that way if you want but if you want, it sounds more melodic if you have a, if you incorporate a slide when going up to that chord and the way to do that is using your third finger which for your this chord would be on the second fret oh yeah um, I say second fret it's actually the third fret but remember I'm going to be referring to everything chords and it's, uh, it's, 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 I'm going to be referring to chords and strings and numbers and frets based on uh, assuming this is the the nut so this is this would be the open strings this would be fret one two and so on uh, yes yeah, so so to do this you have to you, for the A major chord your third finger will be on the second fret then you then you slide up to the third fret with your third finger and then then you slide back down to the second fret again so we slide up then slide back down again and you do that while strumming the entire chord you don't pick it you just uh, do the movement while strumming the chord Okay, uh, the strum the strumming is basically based on uh, pretty much almost consists of all down strums, with a few up strums sort of thrown in at the end of every second bar, and and also with some pauses here and there. So we have. So just think of it all down strumming. Uh, it, the tempo is quite slow, so you're actually you're actually playing a lot of them on the beat and off the beat anyway. But because you're doing all down strokes, it's probably it no, might not necessarily feel like you're playing off the beat, but you actually are because of the tempo of the song. One and two and three and four and instead of one two three four one two three four. Okay. So just remember that when you're playing the song. One. So back to the rhythm, it'll be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That's the first part. Then the second part, you've got one and two and three and four and. So you basically kind of, it's basically the exact same thing, but you just add an extra down before you add the, the up strum at the end. Okay, Alright, so to, all together that is... Again, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that's this first part of the intro. The second part, rhythmically, it's pretty straightforward. You're pretty much going to be doing all down strums, with the exception of at the end of every bar or every second bar, you will incorporate another a sneaky up strum. But otherwise, the whole rhythm is going to be based on all down strumming. So it'll be like this.
So a little bit slower that is down, 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 up. And again. So you do that twice every time you uh, on a chord. So the chord progression is a uh, B. So oh sorry, A even, A major. Then you briefly go up to the A sus four. Then you go halfway through the bar, you go back down to A. Then for the next two bars, you've got the E chord. And if you want, uh, when you go to the second bar, you can add your pinky to the second fret on the high E and you'll create a a nice version of an E which is kind of it's a E add 9 the 9 being on the top so you'll get this so and then the next chord the D we're actually going to be uh, moving between chords for a bar. So the first bar would be this version of uh, D, the major 7 with the sus in it. Then you're going to slide with your second finger up a half a step to get the sus if, if the version of the chord. Same chords and it's just all down strumming. That's the one exception. That with that particular part of the progression, you just do all down strumming. There's no up strum at the end. You can just do all down strumming. So then you go back to the A, uh, and then you just do the same as you did first time you play A for that section. Except that uh, this time, you, when you go to the a sus4, you just hang on to it for the whole of uh, the last bar instead of just going back down halfway through that bar like you did the first time. So first time you do the A it'll be second time so all together that section will be So that's your intro section. Now it's worth pointing out that the section we just covered, the second part to the intro, is actually the main, as I said, the main theme, the main riff section of the song, and that gets repeated another two times throughout the song. Um, and I'll uh, point those out as we go through the song. So the next up for the song is the verse. Now the verse pretty much almost follows the exact same chord progression as the section we just covered from the intro we'll have two bars of uh, well we'll have a bar of A uh, and if you want you can use the A sus4 as well but you can just but you don't, it's not required you can just stick to the A major you do that for two bars then we'll have two bars of E then we'll have uh, two bars of the D major sus2 and then you repeat that, that another three times and then at the end of the uh, the verse, we have uh, a wee build up. When you go back to the A to build up towards the chorus. Like that. So that is um, just the A major. Then you slide up to the A sus4. And you slide back down to the A major again. Notice how I, I uh, build up the dynamics and they become the music becomes louder uh, as I build towards the end of that section to, to build up towards the chorus. It adds a bit more energy and uh, and sort of I guess sort of impact on the song. So quiet, then building up, getting louder, and 
goes into the chorus. The rhythm section for the verse, well let's just go back to that for a second. Uh, that is basically based on the same idea as the rhythm that I showed you in the first part of the, the intro. Where you do that. You pretty much do that for the uh, for this uh, verse as well. But there's a couple of ways you can do it, but here's the first one. So you're using the, the rhythm of one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So if we apply that rhythm to this chord progression, it would sound like this. Try and do it quietly, um, especially if you're doing it with a vocalist, because it will kind of create a good uh, dynamic feel to the song. So the verses will be quieter than the chorus, and then when you, just before you get to the chorus, you build up, and then you have the big boom at the chorus. Uh, another way you could play the rhythm for the chorus would be a more of a rocky kind of feel that kind of emphasises the lower part of each chord and it, it creates a great uh, dynamic way. This is a great way to do it if you're just doing it yourself or you're doing it with a, an acoustic band setting. You can get this kind of thing going. Basically a palm muted uh, version of playing the chords. It'll be all, all down strumming for this. Notice the accents uh, after the every second beat of the, the bar. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And. So every time I'm doing an accent, I'm playing the full chord, but then quickly muting it out and going back to the palm muting. And with, every, with just the palm muting bits, the bits in between the accents, I'm just uh, I'm just strumming the. The, t the bottom two or the bottom three uh, strings of each chord. So be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and then we move that over. Uh, same progression, but we move that over to the E. And then to the D. And if you want, you can kind of build upon that f uh, throughout the, the verse. So for instance, the, f uh, the first time you play that progression for the, the verse, you'll do. Then the next time you do it, you'll probably build upon it a little bit and you'll uh, get a bit more notice coming out. And then the last time you do it, you'll play well, uh, near enough full chords. Like that. You can also do with some weave embellishments. So for instance, for the A major chord, you can do a hammer on on the second uh, string uh, from uh, between open and uh, hammer on to the second fret. And you can hammer off, or sort of pull off, I should say. From second fret down to the open, you do the same thing with the sus four, or the slide up. Um, you can also do a sort of slide with with, with strings, uh, so fingers one and two. The double stop slide, slide even. Just be careful when you're doing the slide though that when, if you'll be strumming the chord that you're not getting any accidentally getting any open strings in there because some of those strings open strings won't work in this key. That's what you'll be just make sure that they're nice and precise when you're doing slides. We can add in a few relics as well if you want if you want a more bluesy thing. The E chord again you can do some slides or a double stop slide. Yeah, you can also use, uh, have a wee bit of fun with the top 
uh, strings here, strings being high E, you can use the pinky to get the second uh, fret for each of those strings, so you'll get some wee melodies come out of that. With the D, again you can do hammer on idea like you do with the A chord on the second string. Uh, you can uh, you can do a slide using uh, fingers one and two to slide, uh, do a double stop slide up to the whole tone. Yeah. If you want to, uh, you can play a full uh, D chord if you want. And you can sort of go hammer on that, uh, pull off idea on that string with the second fret and the open string. You can do a slide on the G string between frets two and four. There's loads of different things you can do with just these chords, and, it, and this is great for when you're playing by yourself and you want to. Do more than just chords, and we'll do a little bit of lead playing and add some more melodic ideas to your playing. So for the chorus, the chords uh, and the chord progression is starts off with a, a full D major seven chord. You play that for a full bar, then we move on to a F sharp minor seven. Play that for half a bar, then the second half of the bar we'll play E. And then you just do the the down down strumming idea. Then you play it twice more. Then the last time you play, uh, uh, you, go, you go back to the, the D major. But this time you just hang on the chord, you, you just strum it once, and then there's a wee uh, arpeggiated idea that takes place. Sorry. So that is, uh, the rhythm is 1 and 2 and 3. 1 and 2 and. Okay? Uh, and the the strings that we're picking for this is uh, four followed by one, two, three, and back to four. Four one two three four. Four one two three four. And then you end it off with a strum and just let that hang for the rest of the bar. Uh, when it's Chris Martin goes You know I love you so Then you go back to the uh, After you play the chorus and then you play the main theme You then go back to the verse uh, Which is the same as the, the first verse Except that you instead of playing the chord progression three times You play it just two times And then you play the build up bit at the end of the verse the Chorus again and then back to the main theme again, uh, and then you play the main theme. You mean you play it twice through actually, because the first time they play it, they play the riff over it. The second time they play the chord progression while Chris Martin is singing the part of the song where he goes, "It's true, look how they shine for you." So the outro kind of lurks. It's true. that and then once that bit's that part's finished you end that bit with again with a D sus2 or a D major 7 and just hang it and then finally we have the outro uh, section which is a little different to the rest of the song um, the chords are um, two bars of A then we have two bars of the E minor 7 which is the only time that this chord actually appears in the whole song and then we 
finish off the song with the D major 7 sus 2 and then you just let that chord hang and that's the end of the song uh, but however we're not going to actually be strumming any of these chords for this last part it's actually going to be all arpeggiated picked uh, so and the pick pattern is actually different for every chord so let me just break it down for you the first one for the one for the A major chord is this okay so what that is uh, the pick pattern is 5, 4, 3, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4. And the rhythm is just all um, uh, semitone. So it's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Again, the numbers are 5, 4, 3, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4. Five, four, three, four, two, three, four, three, four. For the E minor seven, it's a little different. We have so this one, uh, as you can tell, it's quite different. It sort of has more of an emphasis on a descending kind of sound, emphasising the upper part of the chord. Quite nice though, but what we have for this one is again it's all semitones. So the rhythm, is, so the rhythm is exactly the same as the first one, but the pick pattern is going to be different. So the pick pattern is six, four, three, four, one, two, three. So the, the so the latter part is actually easier. You just think it, count it up in your head one two three four and you've got it one two three four. So again, it's six four three four one two three four six four three four one two three four again three four three four one. Two, three, four. And you play that twice, uh, but you also it's a good idea to slow it down because in the original track um, it actually slowed down halfway through playing that chord. So it'll be like, for instance, see how I slow it down there. Kind of adds a, a nice wee. Uh, feel good ending feel to the song. Nice we feel quite because it's a romantic song. It's a song about love. It's uh, b best to have a good expression. And this and the Valentando slow down bit at the end is kind of a nice way to sort of uh, express happiness towards the end of the song. And I end on the D. Just let it hang. So altogether, the outro will be. That was Yellow by Coldplay for you. I hope you enjoyed that lesson and I hope you uh, uh, found uh, the parts easy and you can now take that song away, learn it and practice it and play it in front of your friends and family for everyone to enjoy. Uh, and so take care. I'll check out my other videos and stay tuned for uh, new videos in the series. I'm going to be covering more songs. Uh, in the series and I'll cover other topics as well that are coming up uh, so check out those stuff and stay tuned take care everyone and I'll see you in the next video bye for now